Let's take a really quick look around Google Scholar. So this is the main landing page for Scholar. So it's a smaller subset of the Google index focused on academic research. Um, using the hamburger menu in the upper left hand corner, you can add, add your library links. So go to settings, then click library links, and then search for Athabasca University. So this is going to give you the opportunity to select AU, which will automatically give you that authentication page whenever we have something that's available that is listed in Google Scholar. And I'll show you what that looks like when you're doing a search. So select your two AU options and please do select both. You can also select the Canadian National Cat Catalog and find an amicus and that will open up some dissertation and thesis results for you. So let's click on save here. Okay, and then let's just do a really quick search. We are just going to search for, uh, let's do strategic planning and e-learning. So we end up with primarily article results. It gives us a general date limiter on the upper left hand corner. We can also sort by date if we prefer that over relevance. Relevance is determined by a pr pr proprietary algorithm, but you'll notice that the bulk of the items that appear near the top of the list have our keywords appearing in the title or are prominent in the little snippet of text that's provided right below. Over to the right of each item, you'll see these full text options. If you see PDF or HTML here, just click on that to see the PDF. Do not click on the title. That will generally take you straight through to the PDF option. And down here, for example, this one is provided by Science Direct, which means it's a subscription re resource. And it's showing you that Athabasca University Library has access to that. So you would click on the Athabasca U here to get that if this PDF link doesn't work. I always default to trying the PDF link first, and then I'll come back and do the Athabasca University one if that direct PDF link doesn't work for me. Yeah, so for example, I clicked on that first one and it opened up the PDF here. A couple of really handy tools here, this cite option, so the double quotation marks, and the cited by are two things I use very frequently. So the cite option will give you a structured citation for the item that you're looking at. It's not perfect, but it will give you a general overview of how it should look. Um, in this case, this one's uh, very accurate, minus a digital object identifier, the DOI that should be appearing at the end here. Um, so it can be handy, it can save you a lot of time. The other tool I really like here is the cited by. So this will look within the Google index material to find out who has cited this particular item. So often when you're looking at an article, you'll look at the reference list to see if there's anything there that could be useful for you. And that's kind of looking back at the research before that point in time. The cited by gives you the opportunity to look ahead and see what has been published after this one has been published. It's not exhaustive. It's not everything that has ever cited this item, but it's the stuff within Google that, that does cite it. So can be really handy, can be a really great way to narrow down your search results. Okay, this also syncs up really well with Zotero. So I've got my Zotero extension up on the right hand corner. So I can click on my folder icon here and it will list the items that are on this page. I can select the items I want and then add them to my folder by clicking OK.